What's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showcasing Wormhole, which is an app that you can use to send files to someone else or send files between two different devices that you have, even if they're really large. Now I've been using Wormhole to send really large podcast files between my two devices, but there are some instances where I have to send something to someone else and there really wasn't a very convenient way to do so especially with larger files. Now, before I was using WeTransfer, but you had to enter email addresses. There was a two gigabyte file limit. There was ads. It just wasn't as convenient and seamless as Wormhole turned out to be for me. And another thing that makes Wormhole great is that it's private by default. So it's end-to-end -end encrypted, which if you don't know what that is, it basically means that whatever it is you're sending is scrambled up so that nobody else can see what it is and it can only be unlocked and deciphered with the correct key. And that key is only on your device. And then the way that they accomplish you being able to send it to someone else is they incorporate that secret key into the actual link that it gives you when you upload your file. So let's go ahead and take a look so you're not too confused. If I choose a file to send, I'll choose this video. And this is the link it gives me so that I can share with someone else, whether it's the person you're sending it to, or if I have another device that I want to open this link on, I can go ahead and do so. So at first it encrypted my file, and now it's actually uploading. What's great about Wormhole is that I don't have to wait for it to upload before I can already share my link or open my link on a different device. So let's copy this link, and I'll open it in a new tab to see what it would look like if I'm the receiver. So this is what it looks like if I'm the person opening the link. And what's great is I can already preview the file before I download it. And I can already start downloading it even though it wasn't finished uploading on the sender's end. So that's, that's, that's a feature I've never seen before and I thought it was really cool. So by default, everything you send in Wormhole expires in 24 hours or after 100 downloads. Now if I'm the receiver, of this file, I can actually choose to delete it. So, so say I download this file that somebody sent me on Wormhole and I know nobody else is gonna need it from the same link, so I can just delete it and it it's permanent and irreversible. And now I know it's not gonna fall into the wrong hands and it's already safe and secure on my device. So when you're uploading a file, you can also change a couple of settings. So you can change when it will be deleted, whether it's in 24 hours or a shorter time span, such as 60 minutes, 2 hours, 6 hours, or 12 hours. Or you can limit it by number of downloads. So say I know this is only going to be downloaded by one person, you could change this setting to one download so that as soon as it's downloaded once from this link, the file will be permanently deleted and it won't fall into anybody else's hands. So that's pretty great as well. So at the bottom of their homepage, you can actually click on Roadmap and see some of the features that they've either added recently or are planning to add. So one thing I didn't showcase is QR codes, but if I go back to the homepage and re-upload a file, you can click Show QR Code and then you can scan this code from your phone. Say if you wanted to download something on your phone, I could scan this with my camera app and it would open the link directly that way. So that's a cool feature that they added, but they're also working on a lot of other things a pro subscription that will have longer expiration times, higher download counts, and larger files. And this will be a way for them to monetize and keep the core service free. They're working on Android and iPhone apps, a way to password protect your files, and also a way for it to remember your upload in case maybe your computer shuts out, your power goes out temporarily. You won't lose your progress if it's a big upload that you're making. So the developers are working on making Wormhole a greater experience as time goes on. And they also have a community on Discord if you were interested in joining that. And overall, Wormhole has been really pleasant to use for me, so I was happy to showcase it today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be showcasing more useful products and tools online. If this helps you or you like the tool, go ahead and share this video with a friend who might also enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.